Welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about what you should do after you file bankruptcy and you're trying to bring your credit score up. So the first thing I want you guys to do is remember that all of those negative accounts, those accounts, we have to get removed, like those collections, charge-offs, everything that you basically included in your bankruptcy, we wanna get that deleted from your credit reports. So that's step number one. We wanna work on getting that deleted. And we wanna kinda of be ahead of the curve in terms of this bankruptcy coming on too. So removing those accounts is going to make it easier for us to make sure that that bankruptcy don't even go on to your credit report because that is possible where it really won't even come on to your credit report. But the thing you have to watch out for too, I know it's kind of like me going off tour, but the thing you have to watch out for, even if we make sure that bankruptcy don't come on, come, come on to your credit report, sometimes when it's technically supposed to be done with, you got a discharge, like everything is, is good with it, that's when it can actually come on at that point too so we got to make sure we stay on top of everything to make sure it's not coming on and then too at the when you finally get done with it or if it get dismissed too the same thing it still pop onto your credit reports so we want to make sure all of those accounts are removed we'll make sure everything on your credit reports is just positive we want we don't see any negative accounts so we want to remove all the negative accounts don't forget it too if you want to look at your credit reports look at those negative accounts we can start working on that for you just look at the description be below and then fill out the form and we'll go ahead and call you and then to this uh, link where you can actually schedule your call so go ahead and fill that out and then we have the application below you can fill out the application go ahead and get started with us we'll do the same process we'll give you a call after we get your application and we'll let you know which items we have to remove from your credit reports so we know we got to remove all the items from our cre credit reports now this is the next thing i know you have all those bad credit cards i know you probably had all those bad accounts in your credit reports we got to make sure that we add more on so it's the same thing with you too even though you did bankruptcy you need to get four credit cards Four credit like four credit cards. Now you can't probably get a regular credit card at this point. You'll have to start with a secure because don't forget you filed bankruptcy. A lot of people are scared of you now, right? So get two secure credit cards. Don't forget if you're in Wisconsin, you can't get these credit cards. So if you're in if you're outside of Wisconsin, you get the credit builder card. If you're in Wisconsin, you'll get the open sky and you'll get the green dot. So Again, you'll get the credit builder card if you're outside of Wisconsin. If you're in Wisconsin, you'll get the open sky and you'll get the green dot platinum credit card. Now, don't forget green dot got regular prepaid cards. Don't get that card. Get a credit card. <laughs> so those are secure credit cards. Now, the minimum deposit, which means that you for secure credit cards, you have to put money up front for them. It's kind of like, you, got, you know, you got the regular credit cards before. They're not going to let you get regular credit cards. Now, some people file bankruptcy without credit cards. So if you want to get your credit boosted up fast, you have to get a secure credit card. Secure is where you just put your own money up front and they'll see your credit card with the same amount of money that you sent them. So usually the minimum deposit is $200. So that's good. You just need to get through the door. So I tell everyone clients, just get the $200 cards. You'll get the, like I said too, you get the credit builder card if you're outside of Wisconsin. If you're in Wisconsin, get the open sky and get the green dot platinum and you'll be good. And then there's two that's two credit cards now this is not this is not like a question if you want to do it or not like i really want you guys to do this like if you had an option i would rather you do this than to get your secure credit card like seriously when i added this account on i only added one of them on at first i added one on my credit score went up 60 points like there's no if ands or buts like this is what you have to do you can't decide if you want to do something else like this is what you have to do i want you to get my master credit card list is below right get the list there's two five thousand dollar credit cards there's two five thousand dollar credit cards that almost anybody can get approved for the only way that they want to prove you or they'll take that account off is if you get an inquiry and you dispute that inquiry do not do that if you get this card do not dispute or they're going to take that account right off they're going to just cancel it so please do not do that they're going to close it but listen, there's two $5,000 credit cards on that list. Get that list and get those two $5,000 credit cards because now that's $10,000 added to your credit reports. And you need as many points as you can because I know that bankruptcy probably dropped you like 150 points. Usually to 100 to 200 points, a bankruptcy could drop you. But if you all the way at the 800, that thing could drop you 300 points, put you in the 500s. So 
you need anything that you can get. And I'm telling you, this right here is really the bomb. This is really the bomb, seriously. So I'm trying to stress that. I hope you guys really understand that this is very serious for you to get those cards. So now you're going to have four credit cards. You're going to have two, two secure credit cards and you're going to have two $5,000 credit cards. And some people may say, hey, what if I can just get some more secure cards? No. No, no, no. Get the two $5,000 credit cards. Seriously. Two secure, two $5,000 credit cards. That means that you're going to have $10,400 in credit after bankruptcy. And you can literally have this within two weeks. Like you can file bankruptcy and you can be right up on it getting these accounts. So I suggest that you guys really, if you want, if you know you're going to file bankruptcy, I want you guys to do this kind of beforehand and make sure they do not include these accounts as the accounts in bankruptcy. That's the problem. If you're doing chapter 13 or chapter seven, make sure that you're pinpointing every account and you make sure you go through that paperwork. I'm telling you, make sure you go through that paperwork, make sure that they're not taking out good accounts because you could have had good credit cards before you could have had good credit cards before that you wanted to keep. But at the same time, the bankruptcy attorney, he'll throw everything on your account onto the bankruptcy so watch out for stuff like that some of these attorneys they don't look and say okay this was a good account we don't want to. no they just go and plop everything on you want to make sure that it's only those negative accounts because i want you really to start this i really want you to start it before like you can get this stuff started before that way you already in the process so when your bankruptcy well we want to make sure it don't even hit that's what's going to really hurt you when that bankruptcy hit is going to really drop your credit score like you should really make sure your credit is done really at any time. This, that bankruptcy, when they come on or if it's already on there, that's what, oh, excuse me. That's what really hurts you. So we want to make sure we get that bankruptcy, make sure it don't come on there or make sure that when it comes on there, we attack it, but really try to do this before. I really want you to get the accounts removed, start getting that removed. Like even when you think about bankruptcy, start getting that stuff removed. Now you can start really getting that stuff deleted. Now you don't have to wait, you know, but I really want you to remember because a lot of bankruptcy attorneys go off of what's on your credit report to even find out who they want to throw on your bankruptcy. So always be like, Hey, Rakita, make, I always send you a copy of your first credit reports, but make sure you have a copy of first credit reports. If at any time you decide, Hey, you want to file bankruptcy. So that's just the case. Somebody else is watching the video and they didn't file yet, but they trying to figure out what's going on. What should I do? <laughs> So make sure you guys have the four credit cards. Make sure you guys get the accounts deleted from your credit reports and make sure you guys have one installment account. Now, all my clients get this bonus account because it personally brought my credit score up 36 points. Like I was like, really 36 points for this account and it's free. It's a free account and it's so simple. So I always give my um, clients that account. So if you're getting signed up, don't worry about it. You're going to to get the account deleted from your credit reports. We're going to all automatically tell you, Hey, you should sign up for this account. Now, another account that you guys can get for an installment, don't forget an installment can be if you have positive student loans, that's good enough. Say if you were to have a car payment that's, that's positive, then that's good enough too. So if you have these type of accounts or say if you had a loan that you paid that you're paying on right now, because I want the account open. If you have a loan that you're paying on right now, that would be enough too. So you guys can actually keep that account, those, those different accounts and count that as an installment account. So you don't have to get the next account I want to tell you guys about. So don't forget too, if you're already my client, I'm going to get you an installment one too i have both because both of them raised my credit score so i suggest you guys get both too so i did self lender now with self lender self lender is where you pay yourself so i pay 48 dollars a month and then after a year they send my money back now every month they're going to report that you're paying that 48 dollars a month too so after a year that account is going to be closed and they're going to send you all that money you spend at 48 dollars per month they're going to send you all that back in the form of a check but this is the kicker part right here you guys after being in this program for three months and having three on-time payments they're going to actually send you a card using that money so they can actually send you one of their credit cards basically a secure credit card with that money you've been paying to add, you know, so that you can be able to get that credit card and then they'll add that credit card onto your credit reports. So that's something that's really, really good. Now, let me tell you when I don't want you to do this. I do not want you to think about it. I do not want you to, if you get the self lender, I don't want you to get that credit card. If you got a lot of big credit cards 
in terms of you already got your, you already did what you were supposed to do. You got your t- two secure credit cards. You got your two five thousand dollar credit cards. Then do not get this card. This is for that person where it's like, Rakita, I hear what you're saying, but there's no way that I'm going to pay four hundred dollars for a secure credit card right now. I can't have that for months. If you're that person, just go ahead and do the self lender because as you keep paying in and paying in, it's like a slow payment thing to get that secure credit card. Then you can go ahead and just get that secure credit card. So keep paying. Paying, paying, paying on a self lender. After three months, they'll send you a secure credit card with that money you've been paying. So that's better for it's for those people that just can't pay two dollars for a secure credit card because it's just too much for them. Forty eight dollars is better. You know, it's easier for them, but you have to make sure you have a minimum of a hundred dollars. So they the credit the lowest amount that they can see in a credit card is a hundred dollars. But that's like what a hundred dollar credit card. <laughs> I haven't heard of that until then. I haven't heard of a hundred dollar credit card to self lender, but hopefully you found this video, found this video very useful. Hopefully I slow down, try to slow down my talking right now. You guys, I'm getting into practicing how to teach you guys, how to talk to you guys. So please bear with me and let me know if I'm rambling on about the different things you guys don't even care about because I, I just have all these different situations I see so many different clients go through different things and I just feel like everybody is having it so I just want to make sure I let you guys know about it but if it's a ramble let me know let me know what you guys want me to make a video about next I'm making like three videos a day I missed yesterday so I'm trying to make my six today, but I'm making a lot of videos and I'm going to make even more videos. When I get any questions, I want to make sure I pop that, that video up for that question. Like I'm not just going to answer any questions without making a video about it first. So hopefully you guys found this useful and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.